Hey everyone, it's Gab. If you enjoyed the YouTube videos, you might also enjoy watching me on Twitch. You can find the links in the description down below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I push and negate what could go wrong. Let's, let's see. Hopefully it's vamps and not red black mid range. Neither mashup is great, but example a little easier. Don't bang buster me, bro. Oh, it's mono black. All right. It's probably not as bad as Bang Buster, but it's almost just as bad. I think Mono Black's a little less scary than Red Black. They're less aggressive, a little Mo or Mopey. The gate's probably the best card in my hand, anyways. Let's let them have it. Four cards is a lot, but I have my own. I have an card advantage to make up for it. Keep forgetting to replace ugly, ugly negates. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to have to play with ugly negates all day again. <laughs> all right, it took the negates. They also play Clang, right? Let's hold on to sensor for now. I'll address a card. You know, still need to get to seven mana for a deluge, but a lily of devil. Yep. Ship cycle first. I thought there's this card swamp now. Lost focus for a second. Proof free basics, which is not great, but I have feel of rune, they have feel of rune. They might slam a shield red here. I'm going to discard land. I'm going to hold on to that fail push for now. Paul's going to get fielded anyways. Let's take auto war. I believe the use field over in here gives me the extra mana. It's me deluge and edict. It's nice. All right, I guess I'm not going to get too fancy. A Shelly main deck. Yeah, they usually play four Shelly in that main deck. I think. No field of run. I will take dig. Probably shark that in. Never roost. Hey, blue sky. Hey, everyone. Hey, Macy. Rider dies back. Sonic. I pit cycle for zero. I kind of really want to find a field of run, anyways. It use works with Spush here. But I haven't seen a single field of rune, so I think I should go for that instead. Ah, uh, still not a single field of rune. Okay. Unfortunate. I need a lane drop, so I probably should take March. I can take a hit. It's not a big deal. They're not very aggressive. Just take March and negate, maybe.
Pick four, five, six from deduced. I can kill Shelly in my upkeep. I wonder if they play Invoke Despair, and if so, how many? Okay, Airbridge. Oh, go blank is brutal. Double delusion the yards. All right, control, sag the clue. That's decent. A little frustrating that I didn't find Field of Ruin on Dig and now I break on their set. That could be the difference between winning and losing here. At least they got a dead to rest. I don't have ways to draw cards. Two dealers gone. My two dealers, my two digs. I think heart casting is kind of bad here. So maybe save that for a Shelly. Nice. Yeah, hard casting would have been game losing. Given what I drew. It's kind of weird to draw a castle locked one and then town. I guess you get a value out of scribe. You pay two life right. On a tap. When you hold W and you tap a dual land, it will just tap the first man on the on the land, so it will tap automatically tap blue. Oh, they're waste knots. Oh, that makes sense. I've got to reach. I don't know. I say we're waste knot until now. So, what do you get for a spell? You draw a card. Our set pretty good against waste knot, I guess. Just this card to cover up, right? Whenever an open and discards a non creature, non land, and draw a card. Stop by our set. That's all lucky you didn't find a Duress or a Lily at the end there. Yeah, then our set was. A list for their list. A list for their deck. Uh, Kisa. Me. Oh, that's Legacy. Mono Black. They even play Mono Black Pox in Legacy. 
extra duress, trespasser, extra planeswalkers, and then they board out meat hook. We're at like two meat hook, four push, and they bring in two duress, two trespasser, two planeswalker. Because this list doesn't have the tomes in it. What removal are they going to have? They're going to have Lily. I don't want JVP into a Lily minus. That does not sound like a good time. I could do my own go blank. Not very exciting against a castle deck. Beach Dark's probably fine. Let's just keep in all the fatal push. Maybe not all of them. I mean, I could keep in some boxes on the draw. I don't hate it. Could keep a cover up too. Just have to keep really. It's the oldest card deck. Let's keep it. Other way around would have been nice. Dig in hand, watery, gra watery grave in the yard. It's my panelist see I don't this anywhere. No. Give me a sec. There you go, a big checklist. Elephant facts. There are more than 10 physical characteristics that differentiate Asian and African elephants. For example, Asian elephants' ears are smaller compared to the large fan-shaped ears of the African species. Only some male Asian elephants have tusks, while both male and female African elephants grow tusks. It is also important to note that there are two distinct elephant species on the African continent, the savanna elephant and the forest elephant. Bye bye. Thanks for the 58 months. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I terrible timing on the resub. What does the ultimate do? 13 damage. Game not going so well. Can bring in JVP on the play. Not sure what else I'm supposed to do. It's not bad that I'm in a spot where their discard spells do very little and their Lily does very little. Their castle do very little with Soren kind of. I wonder if they shouldn't just make tokens, honestly. Well, I guess they want to stay out of reach of Hive. A bit of triumph in hand now.
Nag Yellow, everybody. They have bitter trump in hand. So only get one look and then they get to use bitter triumph. Market attack Lily. Lily wants. How do I get out of this mess? Probably need to keep the planeswalkers in check. Target does hope to hit an edict. Pot of Frodo, thanks for the 32 months. It's fine in the gate too. Attacking was high field. Yeah, probably just need to start. Did you or negate against Bitter Triumph? Negate probably makes a little more sense right now. Did you say it's nice was pushed on the line? I think the negate keeps them busy. They're going for the bite. Anyone remember that animation on Arena when you minus seven? There's like a big vam bite on the screen. It's pretty cool. How do these MTGO challenges work? You just register, play rounds of Swiss. There's a top eight. There's some prizes. What is the list to open on stack? Um, you can type my opponent's name and MTGO in a Google search bar, and it'll take you to their goldfish list, but they're always a little different than when they were playing last time around. I don't recommend that deck though. I think it's well, it's not, I don't think it's very good. It's like fine. These mono white decks are fine, but I think they're just they're just worse than Magnus Midrange in general. A lot of good players have played these decks and tried to make them work, and I don't think anyone's really succeeded. <laughs> Kind of a bad sign they're not playing that in my upkeep. Or maybe they just misplayed. That go blank. Got baited. Edict, Shark Typhoon, Quick Study. Could take Shark Typhoon. Make a 4 4. Could have a discard spell and then have to cycle and then have to minus Lily. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. Face up. Hard casting is only to win to win and hit runner runner. No, I disagree. I think it's a pretty similar spot to last last game. Why did he's card field of rune? I have another one. What okay, it's free? Huh? Mark can steal this. Definitely we know. Hmm. 
the progress scoop, right? I mean, I wish I had anything to bring in, anything reasonable to bring in in this matchup. Just don't. I guess dispute, maybe? JVP dispute. Thoughts he's so bad, maybe go blank. Dig versus Lily. The use is just better. Just did use hope to hit a land. I'll have deadly cover up in my deck. Could do one cover up for that bat. Or could just maximize spells that are good with Seed Shark and Hardcast Shark Typhoon. That's what I should do. How do I do on a good one push? We didn't see Trespasser. Also got baited. I need to be careful about go blank. May not always counter the first thing that comes. Just always keep in mind how bad a go blank would be for me. A bit better of an opening hand, but that discards for my deduce. It's not gonna be great. It is really weird, but I'll take it. I'm right, surprised I didn't just dig deduce here. Especially was how that shark definitely is against waste knots. Um I'm probably gonna lose this game. Dev a discard spell. My deck's pretty good was turned to waste knots. Sucks. Oh well, round one loss. Kind of a tough matchup. Ah, <sighs> just hate to see it. The round one loss. Oh, did not use Gyre Reach there? Okay. Yeah, it's good against my cyclers. It really is. I mean, I have about I have two shark typhoons. Promo sea shark, probably not the worst eater. 
Need to draw them fast, though. No reversal right in my deck. I'll just use negate. Should I wait a turn? No target for bitter triumph. I think it's getting much better. I also don't know about the sensor. Maybe I get a bit of value out of it. I might just play a lily, which we can at least eat it. Hopefully they just lead with go blank. That would probably be ideal. Not sure how much they even care. Only way this is really good is if they have um if they don't have land number six untapped. I could maybe out tempo them. I don't think so though. They go land, go blank, have to discard edict sensor. They have like twenty billion cards in hand. Okay, they have Lily. They discarded two lands. You know they have go blank and they have this, they do a second gear reach. Just trying to think if I should just attack them. Happy Sunday, Gab. Hey, Coco Jumbo. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday everyone. This is not a happy start to the challenge though. What's the deal here? Just keep edict. I wish I'd made them attack in game two. Took another like 30 seconds out of them. Probably it's once they turn the corner and you're gonna turn the corner real fast. Yeah, we thought it's good. All right, I need like a small miracle. Okay, four more. Let's try to find our sets. Yeah, the hard cast. Did I play the hive here? Go empty handed against Gaia Reach. Keeping the lane in hand is pretty bad against Lily. 
It does cost them a bit of mana. Also, I haven't drawn a deluge. They could like mill a deluge or a cling. How many lilies have they played? One. You would hold the hive. But they have so many discard spells. I'm gonna lose it to discard spell. They're gonna get mana back. Like if they have Lily or Goblank, it's pretty bad. Field of Ruin fins my deck. It's close. It's better if I top deck to have more mana in play too. That does make their life easier though. I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the right play or not. They have a field, but it's not free for them to like. That's cost them a bit of mana. It does fill up my graveyard if I ever draw dig. Is oh that's PG. That sucks. Made that to invoke despair they drew off uh No, a clock's not gonna save me. There's no way. I mean, I could, I could find, could draw digs and stuff. Might lose because I didn't make them. Uh... Need a dig. I need dig into start plus something. That's what I needed. Dig into Chrome host seats plus edicts. And I'm really going to lose because I didn't make them attack me like 30 more seconds in game two. This sucks. What does that do? Oh, God. Okay, they're playing a Bang Buster. That's probably good for me. I need to draw a Spell Discern. I need to draw like a Deluge or a Dick to buy myself another minute. Um, I feel that it could be worse. And they're using their Pangbuster. They might have okay with Gaia Reach, it's just a lot of triggers. Not okay with Gaia Reach. Crew. Ah, man. So close. Nah, I don't know I'm gonna get clocked. There's almost no way. Maybe if I like, well, maybe if I draw something good. Maybe if I draw like a dig or something. Yeah, just dig deluge, gear hulk. There's no way. I needed something to last turn. Okay. Um, I have five, six, seven, eight mana left. Just take like delusion push. 
to find a field of ruin and another push. Oh, dig. Oh, but I don't have the cards in the yard anymore. Oh, man. So close. I could field over in here. Maybe buys me a bit of time. Sensor for the trigger. Yeah, I guess. What else gives them a trigger? Nothing, right? Why not cast cells in their turn? Because... I was trying to find a field of room. Oh, they're making me discard. This is amazing. What are they doing? I think I win now. I think I win because they just used a uh, Lily. They're activating Hive. Now I can push something. I'll take it. No, nah, I don't think clock's gonna matter in this mirror in this matchup. I don't know if he's playing blue white or blue black. Haha. <laughs> Waffle saw the light finally. A pretty fill of room. Must be nice. You know I'm in trouble. You know Waffle has like twice as many card drawing spells as I do. He's just gonna bury me. Just gonna bury me in the card advantage. He probably cut like three removal spell or two removal spells for two card drawing spells. Oh, and Castle Vantress, obviously. It's fine. I'll outplay him. I can outplay well when I control mirror, right? Alright, maybe not outplay. Maybe just play the best I can and get a little lucky. Nice castle you've got there. Ain't no way. He's just castling? Just no respect? He just has like the spirit in his main? Alright. All is useless. So it's field and deduced or field and field. You think field and field, really? I mean, I don't think Hall is big problem with all the push and the edicts. And then even Castle is kind of like not trivial to just use. Do I gear hulk here if he castles? I don't hate it. Before I get snagged by our Thoughtseize. Or I could just field over in the castle. I might just hard cast a shark if I tap out here. Let's see what he does. But I could find my own hard cast shark. Two top. Ah, oh, he's baiting me. 
right, I'll take the bait. Hopefully it's not like it when someone else draws more cards than him. I think I want a riddle here. And I guess I have Gerhold plus Riddle next turn. And I have Delusion the Yards. Could cast a car up just for the negates. Okay. Not a bad draw, but maybe I want to wait a turn. No, no I don't have mana for Gerhold plus Riddle. Shorts. Right, I'll do it now. I do you have mana for thoughts? He's plus deluge. Berg didn't fight. Did not fight. Nine mana. Kind of want to say go. Could bait was a cover up. I'll say go. But that riddle, that riddle doing work. Greatest riddle ever. And I did use, I could save it after hard cash short, but if I find a thought he's in the gate, it's kind of just over. I didn't play a land. I should have main face quick study. That's all loose. Riddle, yeah, Riddle is really cool. That's horror in the main deck. <laughs> what a meme. <laughs> That's pretty bad for me. That's kind of a good hand with his horror, too. Uh... It's gonna cost me most of my hand, but I'm just so far ahead, it doesn't matter. No, I turned it out, Chaz. Wait, did I mess up? Not like edicting him was my thoughts. He's on the stack? Probably, right? Each of them sacrifices a non token creature. What did I get rid of? Shark Typhoon or Horror? 
There's no way he just has tool horror in his deck, right? Negate on cover up? What? I don't think you understand what's happening right now. This is not what's going on. He is a target. He is trying to save his horrors. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about it. That was probably pretty loose. I'm just going to take Shark Typhoon. I didn't want me to see his deck. Okay. All right, I have too many cards. Even push is probably not the worst of their sideboards. I could trim sensor in this matchup. He's gonna let me play first. Filling up your graveyard fast for a dig is nice, though. Just ripping for your deck is nice. Take that riddle. Gear Hall probably a little worse after sideboards. Is 62 absurd? Dear Niche. It was a 42 months. Let's go. Thank you so much, Jernich. Was it better? Because he had horror at play, right? I eat it, and then if he tries to save his horror back to his hand, I get to thought seize it. Could be change. Change counters a lot. It doesn't counter the important stuff. Sensor. I like just making my land drops, finding my shark typhoons, just... I think he, he, there is a thing after sideboard as like too many uh too many counters. I'll call one sensor. I cut gear hulk a lot of the time against control. Just because it's all weak against dispute and stuff, but I'm first. Yeah, first and mulligan is like a death sentence in this matchup. Whoops! Minus two life. He's wondering, he's probably wondering why I played, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, I figured out I just misclicked, but... Awkward. In case I don't count as well, yeah. In case I don't card I don't have in my deck. It's the next level, uh, next level play. Repping cards I don't play. Was Waffle playing the PD? Yeah, he played blue at control, but he had it really bad. I think he went one twin draft and 0 3 and constructed. I was like not in love with his list. Him and another French player played that blue white list, and I, I thought it looked quite bad. Didn't have any copies of Sensor, which was, you know, you know me. Definitely not Gav approved. Yeah. Their list was. Oh, they were playing at four. Did you use four quick study? I think I gotta take a chance here because he's just two cards ahead. Just go quick study, negate, gear hall, hope. Uh, that's good enough. He doesn't want to chance it. 
All right, we made one card back. Always nice. Kind of may use Castle right now. Gear Hulk. He makes a two two shark. I get to resolve a gear hulk. Is it time? Is it time for some cling action? Could have his own cling. Seven mana, horror mana. This is what have PT Seattle qualifications now. He uses all of them invite for the last PT. Trying to find a four uh Nazis are an edict. It's kind of nice. I don't just want to say go here. Keep all my options open. Is it the horror turn? Horror plus one mana spell. Just to go again, right? What one mana spell, though? Would have to be like a consider? Can't be a dispute. Like, did he really keep fatal pushing? I just have, have Edict plus Gear Hulk Edict. So he does gear health now. He needs a sweeper. Do you really keep in a sweeper? I get to quick study. As land horror edict saves him, right? All right, nice. Played well. I'm sure I drew him both games. You can usually tell the way the games are going. That's, I mean, the deck's probably like fine, but. But then again, it's not like you can get like massive edges in Pioneer right now. How many players in this challenge today? Exactly 64. I actually didn't have 64. At, we had to wait a couple minutes for people to join. All right. Hopefully it's quote unquote just vamps. Not like mono black nonsense again. It took Shark, though, so it might be. Pioneer, Ragdos midrange. Oh, looks like we've got a 14% gamer. 14% gamer on our chat. I mean, I don't mute evolves, okay. I mean, a 41% uh, win rate gamer. Inti. Mutavolt and Inti. <clears throat> I used to have one Mutavolt in my 
Rock saw, mid-range build. What's the deal here? They know about the edict. Doesn't mean I don't want to use it. This is a tough decision. Cycling's kind of huge if I hit Delusion in our set. It's really good if my top card is a deduce too. Or my second from the top is a deduce. Or see if it's land land. Not great. I didn't even want to do a 1-1 one -one shark because then I don't have four mana. I really wanted to push them. Do I give them Crocs of mana? Probably. Hello, that's a good draw. I mean, I guess I could have just drawn a dig or a deluge, but I'll take it. Why oh, they played Sokenzan? They have Croxa in hand. Stomp. Let's draw in response in case I hit negate. All right, I am stomped. Clinging now is old dad was um was deadly cover up. But I think being mana efficient is so important. Oh no, I'm stuck in the loop. What's that fatal push? Nice. This game's going really well. Well, not really well. What should I get rid of? I think I just keep the cards for Clang. All right, their latest list has Free Shelly. We do have four Bone Crusher, and Bone Crusher is kind of annoying. Doesn't look like I'm going to have a ton of time for, uh, for Clangs because of Deluge, anyways. And it's minus one card for Croxa. Well, I guess in that logic, maybe I should. Uh, I'll just get rid of the Shelly's. Because there's two in the yard. Harvester Triumph Push. Or Bone Crusher. Two Banky B, one Croxel. Looks like pretty similar list. Alright, this game looks pretty over. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I have seven mana in play already. I guess if they draw Crocs on now, I might actually lose. The duress thought sees Crocs a uh, runner, runner, runner. Dig and a bitter triumph in hand. Put 
Clement, you're being annoying. I mean, it's fine, right? Just take it, dig enough turn, gear hold dig. I think our last card in hand is Bitter Triumph. That's fine. That's one way for them to get back in this deck. Me clicking, yeah. Uh, me, me clicking no there. <clears throat> All right. For the fans. The suboptimal, uh, suboptimal hard cast play. I felt like chat was all uh, a little quiet right now. Had to do something. Instant. Instant engagement. Alright, that was an easy game. The Red, Purse, Go Blink, Culligan's Command. Oh. Uh. Otter Frodo was the gifted sub to Lord Beerus. 401 gifted sub. Damn, you... Was all the gift is sub retract was a 25 ball yesterday too. That was not it's... Uh, there is honestly no good ways to go about it in this matchup. Just a nightmare. They do only have one croc now. Just something. Double hearse is rough. I think Link can go, it's too low impact after sideboard. Reversal against two go blank. Probably still not good enough. And big against double go blank, double hearse is also tough. I should probably keep them in. My brain Kalidas. I mean, I could try. I could try Thoughtseize. It is a lot of damage. They just have so many cards I need to take. Magus of the Man was the gift itself from Father Frodo. Narset out. Yeah, Narset's pretty bad on the draw. Good call. It's pretty bad against Bang Buster too. You can just one shot it. I'm gonna try the Kalidas Cheese. Kalita has been keeping all the belly cover ups. Alright, I'm just gonna 61, so I don't time out. Yeah, it's kind of okay. I've seen worse. I don't really think there's a world where I cycle sensor. But I'm probably gonna have to shock that watery grave anyways. And there it is. Well at least they mulligan and they were on the play. Just 
So they have a lot of, they have some making up to do. Not drawing very well here. <clears throat> this all lands. Even just a field of ring here would have been nice, or a cycling card would have let me uh, go into four cards in the yard. That's why Sensor is so freaking good. Mystic and Sarah's too sometimes in these spells. But... Ooh, man, this was a gifted sub. Wow, it worked. Ask and you shall receive. I'm gonna get go blank, lose my graveyard, reset the dig. Trespasser, even worse. <clears throat> Need a deduce or something. Spell. Minus one card for Croxa. I've been thinking about making that Gear Hulk a dig, or not a dig, a memory deluge. These games come up. I've been coming up for me where Gear Hulk is just too little, too late, and if it was a deluge, maybe I'd have a shot. Thank you. That'd be funny. <laughs> the awkward pause. One time. One time don't have anything else. They're like, do I have to take the dig? Especially after attacking. That's a little loose. They don't have like a go blank or another this card spell. Wow, the actual, kind of an actual train of people gifting subs to the next person. Cool. Thank you very much, uh, Magical. I guess I need to do it main phase, right? Because they have Reflection Trespasser. All right, well, I'm still in trouble. They have a billion cards. Lands I've got covered. Probably need to take Deluge. I kind of need that field over in two. Turns on Fatal Push. Probably do need to go blank them at some point, though. They get to attack for a million. All right, I think I actually need to take that field over in. I had flips back fast faster. It's kind of nice. All right, I need my top card to be deadly cover up. That's my out. I did keep it all free. I have another stomp. I deadly cover up on time.
they'll be covered up and I'm just in horrendous shape instead of being dead on board. <clears throat> on Putin does not care about deadly cover up apparently rightfully so yeah I guess I'm still dead to bone crusher all right let's not do 61. Let's not do go blank. They only have one croc side. They're on the draw. Our set's worse in my deck with all the creatures. I guess blot out's just not very good. I'll do riddle instead. Could do meat hook massacre too. This seems. I mean, it would be fine with blue mana in it. It might still be a keep. It's okay if I draw blue mana. I'm having two deadly cover ups pretty bad early on. There's just so few good six card fans, you know? Like no blue. No blue double deadly cover up. No card drawing spells. How many blue sources do I have untapped? Not even that many. Four, seven, eight. Just eight, I think. Nine. It's a matchup for Agnes mid range. Oh, same hand, but better. Probably just get rid of Dilly cover up. Keep the lands. Sensor. Might just be the best card I could have drawn. Good solo. The cheese. The cheese plan. Can it work? Uh, this says non token rights. They know about the fatal push. Doesn't mean there's much they can do about it, though. I don't think I'm ever blocking, so I'm just going to attack. I don't think I should block because of Stomp. I think that extra deadly cover up would have been kind of nice here. <laughs> I thought it's bank fable was perfect mana. Yeah, it is. So if I attack, they can block plus stomp, which would not be great for me. They have Crocs in the yard. Auto War token, hold push, it'd be true. Yeah. Auto War token sounds pretty reasonable. Safe push for... Um, Oh, it's only free mana. Right. Attack and bounce your own creature of this stomp. No, nah, I think that's like way too way too big a loss of tempo. Okay. 
I think I just have to hope they don't have Bitter Triumph in their top three cards again. They didn't discard anything? It's GG. What do they have? Well, I guess we're about to find out. All right, removal for the win. It's a mulligan. That deadly cover-up would have been pretty nice. Oh, uh, too many creatures. I need like a dig. A dig or sleeper. Yeah, maybe I'll start bringing in Meat Hook along with the creatures. I mean, last game too, they just had a bunch of two, three, four toughness creatures. Meat hook would have been kind of. I used to bring in meat hook. I used to like meat hook in this matchup. All right, this block with sea shark. Not a... Just let them have it. It is some mana they're using. One, two, three, four, five. They can bring back Kroxa. The block was ink. What? It's a one one. Why would I do that? We can use Vienna, but they're not using this. Still, have like Dumb plus Kroxa. Push. I mean, he has treasure for push. Probably if I block with Shark, I lose my two turn clock. I'm just going to take it. That's a problem. Basically, that's kind of nice against that. I don't know, it's a token. All right, can I do it? Damn, I just needed one removal spell. I didn't not to have the duress or it's just over. So close. If I didn't have that to Mulligan, if I had that extra cover up, extra any spell really. Feels like I win. That freaking like Thoughtseize Bangbuster Fable draw too. Yeah, Blood Ties Fable, too good. Oh, why did I keep the land in hand? That was silly. Looks like they didn't have Bone Crusher. Maybe I just win if I block the first time. Maybe I should have blocked. Maybe I played too scared. I mean, I'm kind of result oriented because I drew all lands and creature after that. Yeah, I mean, what can you do if people just play the worst deck? The worst deck in Pioneer? Some people just can't get enough. Black at all costs.
down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down I'll here is all salt. On. The, the ceiling is salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. Of course I'm salty. Who wouldn't be? People keep playing just awful Ragnus midrange. Don't they like winning? Gotta play, gotta play my black mid-range deck at all costs. Not like this. Doesn't matter if I have no That's good really matchups. Not like this. I'm not a speaker. No one. If I speak, I am in in no big trouble. No one will deny me. In big trouble, and I don't want to be in big trouble. No one will deny me. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if they're at least playing a good deck. I mean, whatever, my hand is good and it's game one. They have all three drops. So I should probably take their two drop. Yeah, it's a good hand. Stacked. Good deck, good hands. All right, that was good for me, I guess. My hand is stacked too. Shark. What's up, handsome Tom? Appreciate the resub. Might as well keep. All right, big turn incoming. Big draw step. Yeah. Table, creature. Is that the line? Man, I just needed them to break on land on one turn. And it was just GG. <laughs> Did her meter vaults? It's like the best card they could have drawn, basically. Okay, black sweepers in the format. Chip, two in hand. Oh, this is tilting. Winning. No. All right, I'm just not going to do creatures against them. I think it's just fine to yeah. play in our control game. The good news is. Unless they added Bangbuster to their sideboard, this matchup doesn't get much worse for sideboards, but the same. I mean, they get the rest for Fatal Push, but it's not the end of the world. Whatever, I beat Blood Crypt at the PT when it mattered. Can't complain. I went to one against Blood Crypt Gamers. No big deal. I beat the Blood Crypt Gamer.
Quick study's been better than they'd use for me today, I think. Quick study's been kind of gas. Need a split is nice. No fable, nice. Do I go double hive is a little scary, but also slow. This gives them an extra black mana for a discard spell. That'd be kind of a disaster. You can also just take and let them loot. They have all good cards after a sideboard. It's probably to play. This edict now probably. Ready to get to on tap. Each open and sacrifice is on the gun creature. And negate for sorry in our fable. Ugly negate. Damn that flavor text. Jeez. It's frustrating, isn't it, to be so weak and ineffectual? Don't worry, you'll be complete soon enough. I do. I feel like Corona is talking directly to me. Tell us really how you feel, Rona. Hmm. I don't negate. I get to push. I let them resolve. I mean, dig and quicks the same thing. Gear helps not for a while. Plus, if they take negate, I want to cycle shark. What they take? The fatal push. No. It reminds me of the, I saw that the other day in my feed, that bowling, bowling guy quote. Yeah, who do you think you are? I am. No land drop is pretty brutal. And they have the anti-sweeper draw. Well, that is atrocious. <clears throat> Kind of brutal, I drew all the negates after the, um, after the turn to Copter. Yep. They draw this line up perfectly against mine. Not much to do. Coming top page four and two.
Just trying dead. And that was bad. Finally, someone reasonable who might be playing like Phoenix. Now, what does the elf kid play? Does the elf kid play like Boris Convoke or something? I have uh, good matchups. I'll believe it when I see it. I think now the Phoenix is considered. What's going on here? I think people would know if Mono Green Company was a good deck in in, in Pioneer by now, but you never know, I guess. Is it worth it to hit a Thoughtseize? I'm just going to say go and cycle Shark for one, I think. I think I'm just going to cycle and chomp right away. You're welcome. Triple Phoenix draw. I mean, basics for usually. Sometimes too. All right, I guess I'll play around Spell Pierce. I think I can afford to. Famous last words. Insane. I guess technically on oh, no those spell pierce. It's only really dangerous if he brings back all the phoenixes this turn and he has like two land drops for home next turn. Iteration Cruise. One Brazy B. Shredder Prankster, Free Basic Lands, Second Hall, The One Time Walk. In the cruise away Phoenix because they're ghosting. No, I don't think I'll feed ghosts. Just cruise because they had nothing going on. Uh oh. We put him on crumble sugar or salty. Not salty, savory, savory dish. I drew the last treasure cruise. Maybe it was in the last one. What's oh, annoying? <laughs> A delusion response. I am going to take Narset and Sensor, I think.
Oops. Yeah, Alkid used to be very salty. I think he's reformed. Alright. Need to get rid of that hall. Step one. I don't even remember. Was there any spell pierce in his list? Oh boy. It's not going to work out very well for him. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, trying to find his time lock. Okay. Yeah, we can force to connive, but I mean, it's cute, but it's not going to save me if he has time lock. I need to find fatal push. If I don't find a fatal push or cover up here, I'm kind of in bad shape. Sorry, I was muted. Um. Iteration time walk. Is the second hall gone somehow? No. Yeah, I guess that's dig dig. Man, I'm gonna lose the game where I resolve deadly cover up. I wonder if I messed up somewhere. Just not a push or an edict in my top seven. Well, this sucks. And I can't even. Um... Play the land first like a dummy. Yeah, I guess I just lose. That's free concurrence. Wow. You also had to draw treasure cruise like kind of right away. I think you just go down to one here. But, I mean, it's bad either way. Maybe he has all removal in hand. Not necessarily all removal, he would just like target his own shredder. Yeah. All right, I, I kind of messed up. I should have deduced and try to have Fatal push on top. That was really bad, actually. Let's see. So silly. I like... Plus, I would have made him discard, too. I could have made him discard his Trespass, actually. Okay. Pawns are real. That was heinous. That was like total brain fog. Man, if he doesn't have Hall there, probably win too. <laughs> Great hands. Yep, yep, sensor. I don't know what I'm doing this game.
with spell pierce improves a bear matchup. Every time I've tried spell pierce in these decks, I've been disappointed. The games just go too long. Better. Okay. Game going pretty good here. Okay. Right on time. Right on time for bad breaking go blank. And it flipped JVP. And dinner. Do I mute my mic? Any SMR fans? Anyone else eating right now? Anyone else eating something good? Would the mirror control work in standard? I don't know. We can find out soon, I guess. Might start playing standard tomorrow. Could go blank the rest of their hand. Or I could just plus on the token, make a 2 2 shark. Much better. What else can I do? Go blank, I still have Delhi cover up. I go blank, wish for scenario to go Phoenix, kill my JVP. And I still have a stacked hands. Just the my stalker be too good for standards. Seems like it would be too good for Pioneer already now. I'm gonna save my cover up. I was gonna say go with Shark Man up. Good against and wish your red. Yeah. I mean Jace is almost good enough for modern. Like close. Phoenix, okay. <clears throat> Everything at JVP. Me, me, JVP. Huh. I wish saving JVP is probably worth. Well, you see the sidebar clam. A braid? A braid for JVP? Or hearse? All right, no hearse. That's huge for me. Is that the... Is that the Deplaz list? No, Deplaz didn't even have horror. Two Young Pyro, two Crackling Drake, a braid prison bar, two Disputes. One negate, two negates, one stroke. Two negates, two dispute, one stroke. Man, he didn't even have spell pierce in his main deck, did he? I totally blew it, game one. Why not cycle for one once you could draw a card? 
because I'm silly. Just brain fog again. Negates disdainful stroke. You're right. I mean, obviously it was infinitely better to do that. Just not playing well. I'm down to 10 minutes. I mean, this game's going to be over really soon. One damn spike. Uh, some do, yeah. I'm not sure what's the ratio of spike enjoyers versus non spike enjoyers. No, I didn't touch Phoenix. 3 2 haste flying 4 4 is like not the worst in these matchups. And the upside's just too big. Oops, all counters. Okay. Oops, all sharks. Yeah, in our sets, you got me. Sometimes you're better off not casting spells in some spots versus Phoenix. Can draw like literally all the cards in the world. It's not gonna matter this game. It's not showing the sea sharks. Spending so much time. Yeah, I mean, I'm still up to actually win the game. All right, exiled all the pushes. Nice. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That is stupid. I did have him dead on board, I didn't realize. They're probably just hard cast Shark Typhoon here. I am sure doing my best to make that game go as long as possible. I will admit that. Better restart Magic Online for game free. Nailed the out as Chase. Good try. Be kind of fun. Let's try and do that. 
not a lot of winning today, but it's gonna take forever. Uh, and have infinite blockers too. I should have negated that. Plus on the wrong one too. I want him to attack with young Pyro. I can kill it. Hope I'm making it entertaining at least. <laughs> How to lose a one game. I think I'm still fine. Yeah, I mean, I, it's been truly heinous. It's still not gonna matter, but it did cost me like almost like three minutes or something on the clock. One of the worst blocks. One of the worst hull activations in the history of the game. Hall of Fame, by the way. I swear I played better than that at the PT. I promise. Could have done like 10 turns ago. He's gonna have like auto war off. Lag is real. No way. I don't think it's. This game, this game is just me being a dumbass. Salt every loss in ghost streamers. I don't, I don't know if he used to ghost streamers, but supposedly reformed. Am I supposed to play with a hand hydra against him? I don't think so. He's made some plays that seem like he isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember exactly. Oh, yeah, I guess the Jace, the not attacking all of, at Jace when I had Shark Typhoon to block the Phoenix. Yeah, no, he, he's definitely not ghosting. I mean, you'd be pretty dumb to ghost to ghost me at two and two when you're playing for nothing. That would really be like, I mean, at least if you're gonna cheat, save it for when it matters. Yeah, yeah, it is Elf Kids, but he 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 doesn't salt anymore. I don't think he goes anymore. Okay, okay, okay. I definitely still want all the cover-ups. Edict on the draw. Sensor can go on the draw. And then Thoughtseize can come in. <laughs> Wait, I didn't bring in Dispute? <gasps> Ooh. That's the best card in the matchup, you know? Chilling in the sideboard. Uh, the Yuya? I don't know how... I don't know how damning the evidence was. I think the Tron stuff was pretty damning. Made a bit of sense in hindsight. He was like a really bad drafter. 
played the games good though. PvP on the draw might be a little harder to pull off. You didn't see the sharks yet. Hmm. What should my last cut be? I could cut a dig. Got kicked out of the MPL. I think the MPL was still going on, yeah. I remember exactly. A little soft to turn to Young Pyro, a little soft to a creature, but can't pull again. It's it spells like that. We need second black eventually, but I really just need a removal spell. Why not? No, I think if you had plant prank luck, you would have main phased it. Good draw. It's not that bad when you could have Crackling Drake. Could be a bait for Crackling Drake. You might have the counter too. I think I'm going to let him have it. No Phoenix is nice. One Hall, one Island is nice too. Get to seven liner and limited? Or Stiden? Okay. This card to hand signs at Phoenix, maybe? Draft control mirror. Weird flex, but okay. All right, not another free to fee was nice there. This is fine. I think I just want to push. Forces him to have negate if he wants to save it. I'll just make a one-on shark, feed my cling to dust. Let's take it slow. He's, st he's sitting on a bunch of counters. The last thing I want to do is let him use his mana efficiently when, or use his counters efficiently. That's all obnoxious. That's all scary. I have thoughts he's on top. I need to play faster. Two phoenixes. All right, kind of regretting that attack. Oh, he did break on free to pick. Something. Mill the Phoenix, but no spells. So he needs to bring back the Phoenixes while having two mana up. And ideally, like, two count, two, like, two mana hard counters. And these sharks, yeah. I guess I'm probably unlikely to resolve cover up next turn, so sharks gonna buy me some time. Well, it looks like he did find an untapped land. He's tapping out, because he hasn't played a land yet. He did top with Consider. It's hard to crack and Drake. Oh, he does have Pierce. Didn't take a super good look at his hand. I'm gonna assume that's the best play. <clears throat> it's 
So what's his in what's in his hands? So exile. Red or trespass negates trobor or something like that. So nothing that deals with a shark, right? Oh yeah, multiple spell pierce? I mean it's a play draw thing. Okay, let's chill for a second. Betty, but okay. I guess I would maybe do the same thing. I mean, I guess technically he could have braided his egg or something. I think I'm gonna just lose to negate here. Block, take four, five. This match is kind of a field battle of it. I think I should have won pretty easily, just played really poorly. And slow and didn't have time to think about my play towards the end. I can still win. Okay, I already shouldn't dispute. Yeah, I probably win if I have a bit more time. Oh well. Whatever, we're playing for like zero. It was a fun match. Any like nice setting to cover up? Uh, I'm missing like a minute. Another counter. It's... Now let's play well and fast to end this challenge. 32. Your health hits only two digs. You have counters, you have quick study, you have deduce, removal, push, edict. 
It's a lot. But obviously, dig is the best one. Uh, looks like I'm up against Ragdos midrange again. Or no Ragdos ramps. I might have to shelve the deck if it's really like bad against Ragdos vamp. I didn't feel like it was that bad the few matches I've played, but played a couple of times since and hasn't been great. Not sure what's to call. Maybe just play Vamp myself. Maybe Amalia? Amalia on Magic Online? Oh, French tennis player is streaming. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's pretty cool. He's showing the tennis tennis tournament. Get him off his. Nice drawing, kids have Fable. His first couple of draw steps were really nice. That's like the main phase. And I'm just going to play that tapped. So I've been on Ragdos Vamps. Good deck. Pretty well rounded, too. All right, so their hand is Vayner Ripper, Thoughtseize, and Mystery Cards. Can I get their Blackleaf Cliff? <clears throat> The Concast Fable. Neither of them might just kill me at some point. I'll just do the Mute Vault. I mean, maybe they play Mountain, but usually they play Free Swamps. Feel is really good. Yeah, I mean, essential. Amazing. <laughs> Dude just salting into two free brackets. Someone's had a rough day. Dude has like an insane opening hand and it's salting because I draw some spells from my deck. Hope I draw Deluge or Dig. Oh, nice. The mana is sus. Not a mana is fine. The mana is just fine. I thought I'm amazing. Imagine having a perfect hand and stalping into two free brackets. Yeah, I play blue eye control into PT, yeah. The salt, I don't know, you just said amazing. Because I drew like two good cards or whatever. I don't want Shark Typhoon's gone. Take Memory Deluge and change. I mean, kind of have the lands I need. I want to find cover up. I'm kind of dead anyways.
bit better than the Bane Ripper for me. Where's my cover up? I'm not sure that was the line. This thing draws cards or put them in your hands. Draw cards. Twelve. I fill it with some Bailey's Irish cream. Cool, yum. What did you just do? Did I do anything? Just get rid of Vayner Kerr. Yeah, that was an interesting maneuver, not that it mattered, but. Gonna go for the strip mine play. Push their uh push their mutavolt in response. Small scoop. Alright, so what did we say? Meat hook. Let's try all the creatures still. That blood I card I think is just atrocious, but I'll keep it in. Still way too many cards. I'm trying to have a few thoughts these as well. Oh no, no, never mind. It's a natural. I could still try to deceive sharks. No, let's stick to no creatures. <clears throat> no creatures, all shark. Just play the cover up game. Let's see. Push sensor, all the two minute spells. Yes, yes. Yes, on these cards. Yeah, one of these cards. Usually it's Gear Hulk. That Gear Hulk be all too slow for me. Gamble, uh, no removal. 
No land, all card draw. Yes. On top. Oh, at least I'm chilling my graveyard nicely for a dig. In a pretty good spot here. Well, decent. There's obnoxious. Perhaps secured, just in case. Two push lefts. Sukenzan. Main face Sukenzan. Okay. Oh, that's lucky. That was very lucky. They're not going to be happy. Not a push. Check cover up the fails. Bitter Triumph, one, two lilies, and Shelly. I need to dodge the Vein Reaper draw. That was good. I have two dealers in the yard now. And he's like Vayne Ripper right away, and I need to break on Deluge. It's hard to break with Edict in my deck and cover up. The Sash Soren. I mean, I did draw extremely well this match. The Soren on 10 plus counters was a classic back in the day. Blue white against vamps. That happened a lot. Good tick here. Like me to the next turn and with some sharks maybe.
bring now in case they draw like a mutavolt or a hive. Hardcap shark into meat hook seems more fun. I play against Dragadus Vam at Protor once, played against one of my teammates. I want a close match. All right. Ha ha ha!